In this video, I want to go over the weekly newsletter from Flying Research. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I go over the newsletter, just want to do a quick sales update for merch by Amazon because the past couple of days were actually pretty slow for me. Only $29 in royalties, $30 in royalties, but today things I'm having a bounce back day so 24 sales and $54 in royalties that is going to put me at $551 for the month if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my daily sales for both merch by Amazon and Etsy the link is in the description I also post like gym picks lifestyle picks entrepreneur picks just my life down here in Mexico I'm born and raised in Mill Valley California but I've been living in Puerto Vallarta Mexico for the past 18 years Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the newsletter from Flying Research. And I got to scroll up to the top here. So it's number 22. And the first thing that they talk about is the new mock-ups right here. Let me make it bigger. So if you guys remember last week, Amazon or Merch rolled out these new mock-ups. And according to this newsletter, they are saying that these, these new mock-ups were basically a fail. So a lot of people were complaining that their sales had gone down. And Amazon or Merch has now gotten rid of them. Me, I didn't notice any decrease in sales. My sales have actually been pretty good um, last month and the beginning of February. But I have noticed that I'm not seeing these anymore. So right here is going to say uh, last week we speculated that the new product mockups might eventually roll out to all merch markets. However, it appears they didn't even manage to hold their ground in the U.S. market. Significant backslash emerged on Facebook and Discord where prominent sellers reported a drop in sales following the introduction of these mockups. So basically they're saying that it was a fail. Um, the next thing that they talk about is the trend. So a big trend right now is the Super Bowl, but I would, you know, highly recommend that you stay away from doing anything that's like related to Taylor Swift, uh, Kelsey, uh, Brock Purdy, things like that. It's just going to uh, put your account at risk, and you don't want to do it. You always want to think long term. Um, you want to try and have your merch account for as long as possible. And then there's also this one right here that's more specific, like exactly like these Taylor eighty eighty seven because Taylor Swift is dating Travis Kelsey. And basically, there's just these designs that are going to get taken down. So <clears throat> don't, um, you know, follow this trend. Just like I was talking about up here, you want to stay away from designs like this. It's just going to get your account in trouble. You guys should already know this, but some of my rules that I just don't do anything has to do with like people's names or song lyrics, uh, Netflix series, movies, or professional sports. So Kansas City Chiefs, San Francisco 49ers. Definitely want to stay away from that. It will help you sleep better at night. Okay, now let's go, go ahead and get into the best part of this report is the niche that they always offer. So I really like this newsletter because they always offer some type of low competition evergreen niche. And in my opinion, it's important to have your portfolio portfolio very diverse with like trending niches um, you know, and evergreen niches. Because when the trending niches aren't selling, you're going to have those evergreen niches that you can lean on that will get you sales on a regular basis. So the low competition evergreen niche that I have for us today is this uh, keyword right here, puppetry. And basically puppetry is making puppets. So at a glance, we're going to see puppetry is an ancient form of performance art that involves the manipulation of inanimate objects, often resembling some type of human or animal figure to convey a story or show. These objects known as puppets are brought to life by puppeteers through movements and voice to simulate life-like actions and emotions. I'm sure you guys probably know what a puppet is, but just in case, here is a visual so you kind of get the idea. So this niche is about people who like to make puppets, play with play with puppets, perform with puppets. And if we go back to the report, we're going to see puppetry is celebrated for its creativity, versatility, and ability to, to transcend language and cultural barriers. When we take a look at the search volume, it's actually pretty good all year round, especially during the summer, which is kind of the slow time. So this niche could, you, could get you some sales when things are kind of slow. But the trend over five years, honestly, is not looking that good. It looks like it's actually kind of trending uh, downwards. But when we look at the key metrics for U.S., we're going to see that there is 74 products for this keyword on Amazon, 5,000 in clothing. Whoops. Okay, whoops. So sorry about that. I actually jumped to uh, the forward page. But when we get back to the key metrics right here, we're going to see the number that we care about as merch by Amazon sellers is this one right here. There's only 176 Amazon merch shirts according to this newsletter. Now, I did go into Merch Informer just to double check it put in the keyword puppetry and I was actually to see that there's actually a little more but still only 285 which is very low my benchmark is a thousand for you know evergreen or trending niches I try and stay below that when it comes to competition um, here we can take a look at what some of the designs look like but let me go back to the newsletter right here which is right here um, so yeah so it's low in competition here's some keyword 
keyword uh, top performers so puppet master shadow puppetry I believe that is a sub niche so there's this niche actually has sub niche potential puppet combo puppet dragon um, also maybe like puppeters I think the person is actually um, you know playing with the puppet and right here we have a couple facts so fact one you have sub niches like shadow puppetry okay I just mentioned that you can e easily convert to and then fact two is merch competition for puppetry keyword is very low so yeah so you probably <clears throat> might not even have to do ads for this I mean yeah obviously it'll help but it's it's a niche where ads aren't necessarily um, necessary now when we take a di deeper, uh, deeper dive into this niche we're going to see what some of the best sellers are I made a TikTok video and a YouTube short about this niche today talking about some design ideas so you could do something like um, you know eat sleep make puppets repeat just a girl or just a boy that you know loves puppets a lot of people have been asking me about the just the girl um, phrase if it's trademarked I haven't found any trademark on it as long as you're doing like just a girl that loves puppets using as a whole phrase you know it should be fine I don't see any trademarks for that uh, keyword um, another one might be like um, you know I like puppets maybe three other people um, let's see if you just go right here to actually the Amazon merch page you can just get ideas so like sorry I'm late I was making puppets so you could make a similar design like this obviously you don't copy but you can add in some type of clip art maybe some type of puppet so like what I like to do is I would like maybe uh, combine two so I would take like something like this this phrase and use some type of clip art like this and maybe put like you know this hand kind of underneath the text right here uh, what else can we find here another puppet nerd that seemed like a popular one uh, I saw some other niches where were they sorry I'm late I was making puppets okay so that's another one so you see there's actually a good amount of uh, phrases that we can use with this niche and when we take a look at the BSRs we're going to see that this niche is selling this one has a 307 BSR in the climate price friendly category uh, here are some of the other BSRs as well back to the newsletter here are some more phrases or sayings that we can use so puppet masters do it with strings attached just hanging around with my puppets behind every great puppet is a great puppeteer that's the keyword I was talking about right here um, yes I'm the one with the talking hand life is more fun when you pull the strings now you're gonna have to check for trademarks with for these um, so just make sure you do your due diligence here are some single word and long tail keywords so puppet master puppet combo puppet with strings and then the favorite or my favorite part about this newsletter is that it gives us an actual example listing so for their brand they're going with puppetry marionetta I think that's how you say it puppets ventriloquism here's the title they're basically doing um, basically keyword stuffing which is fine that's what I do um, now me personally I don't write out long bullet points like this a lot of people have been asking me how I do my keywords um, um, or my SEO and basically what I do is I will just take my title which is basically just a bunch of uh, stuff keywords that are relevant to the actual niche and I will use that for my brand bullet point and and bullet point two now you know a lot of people probably won't agree with this you know it probably is better to type out you know a whole paragraph but I'm just too lazy I don't want to spend the time just you know you know I'd rather spend my time uploading designs instead of finding keywords that might not even be really be relevant or that's gonna help the listing you know mainly people are gonna be typing in puppet puppetry you know uh, really relevant keywords so what I will do is I'll just copy and paste this title I'll use it in my brand probably have to cut it off right here because it won't all fit and I will just take the title and I'll use it as bullet one and also in bullet two that way I will have matching metadata I have the it's a conspiracy theory it's a theory that I have that you know um, websites like uh, matching metadata so that's how I do my uh, keywords or my SEO I just take my title copy and paste it use it as my brand bullet one and bullet two comment below what you think about my strategy you think it's good bad sucks what's yours let me know um, and then here is the grading or the scoring so for the niche they're giving a six I would actually give it higher than this because it's low in competition um, the potential I think well, I would go higher as well actually I would go higher for all these I would give this like a solid eight or nine just because I really like niches that are low in competition and that are selling um, not too many people know about this it's a hobby um, it's pretty easy to design for so um, I think this could be actually even uh, higher I probably give it an overall score of a nine and here is the clip art so every newsletter um, that they give out on a weekly basis you get some type of clip art and you can use this free for commercial use if you want more clip art you can go to this guy's store on Etsy and get more so here are some good ones I think probably the best ones are the hands with the strings I think people are going to most relate to that so um, if you go to his store you can actually purchase some I think they're right around like five ten bucks but you're gonna have to double check me on that 
But that is so that is the newsletter for this week. I think it's pretty good overall. But now let's go ahead and take a look at Flying Research because I always like to show you guys how I use this website and how it works. So if you've been watching these videos, I like to use it for the seller trends. So right here, we're going to do the seller trends. Now, to be honest, today, um, a lot of the trends I'm seeing look a little um, like ones that can get you in trouble. So like, for example, we're going to see all those Super Bowl ones. Like this one's about Usher for the halftime show. You don't want to do that. I did see this one right here. I'm vulnerable right now. If any goth girls would like to take advantage of me. So we see one, two. Basically, what I like to do is I like to come in here and I like to look for duplicates. And when I see duplicates, I know that something is trending. But I always do my research and I will Google it. Now, I didn't really find anything that popped up for this. I just saw a bunch of like Amazon or T-shirt websites. But still, I'm just a little skeptic skeptical because... When a niche just came out, it says zero days old here. You know, it's only been out for like a day, you know, and it already has this good of a BSR. You know, it gets me to kind of think like it might be too good to be true, but I could be wrong. Maybe you guys know why this is trending. Um, if you do know why it's trending, let me know, but I couldn't find anything. Now, these other ones right here, don't let the old man in. This is a country song. So right here, we're going to see uh, Toby Keith, don't let the old man in. You have to get out of this so it doesn't play the actual song. But so that is uh, definitely one you want to stay away from. And I think there was another one. Oh, yeah, there's a new Joe Biden one right here. So I need money to go back to 1941 so I can give Joe Biden's dad a condom. So I would definitely avoid doing stuff like this. I just have a rule, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, where I don't do anything that relates to people's names. Plus, the word condom is kind of sexual, so I would probably just avoid it. Um, but the ones, the only ones that I found that I think do have a little potential are, kind, are these ones right here, like Team Halftime. So, you know, you can make uh, t-shirts about halftime, but just stay away from anything that has to do with like Usher or, you know, anything that has to do with like Kansas City Chiss, San Francisco 49ers. So you can do like, I'm just here for the halftime show. Just like text like that. Very simple. And that would be my title brand, bullet one, bullet two. I'm just here for the halftime show. Um, this one right here, I think it says, I hate both teams, pass, pass the chips. So that's another one. Uh, don't want to do anything. I'm here for Taylor. Again, we're going to see this one where I, I don't know why it's trending. Uh, this one I thought was pretty funny. Touchdown with the baseball. So maybe this is for, because it's pink, maybe it's for women. Um, but if we go right here, like I'm just here for the halftime show, but they have Usher. So you don't want to put any like faces of Usher. That will get you, I believe, in trouble. But you can do something like this, just the text, but get rid of Usher, at least in my opinion. I think that would be safe. Um, and then there's also one right here farmers for Trump so again I avoid using people's names but what you could do is farmers for Trump and then 45 because 45 is was uh, was uh, the number of president that Trump was so you know you can do that that's how I do Trump shirts without using the word Trump you just use the word 40 or the number 45 instead um, but that is what it looks like it is trending right now at least today and it updates almost every day so there's always new trending niches if you want to sign up for uh, flying research I have an affiliate link in my description so you just go to the description it's going to be this uh, fifth link right here when you click on it it will take you to this page right here and I sign up for the well, I sign up for the the cheapest package this one right here 1833 because all I really want is the um, where is it the trends the check mark right here all these other ones I don't really care about AI trademarks or the big package that they have I just want the what's trending best sellers can help out sometimes but again I just like the trend so if you're interested link is in the description but that's going to be it for today's video um, I want to thank everybody that's been supporting the channel I actually just got this new tripod so I'm going to be making a new vlogging video tomorrow it's gonna to be a challenge video to see how many designs I can upload in a day I think I'm gonna try and push myself see if I can do 50 designs in one day usually I do about 20 um, but it'll be a fun little challenge we'll see if I can do it so keep your eyes posted for that I'll probably have it out on Sunday or Monday um, but if you like this kind of content make sure to comment like and subscribe and if you're struggling on merch by amazon and you want to know how i get sales like this on a daily basis i do have a course it's the first link in the description it's only 20 bucks it's on udemy um, it's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on merch by amazon check out the reviews people seem to like it and are getting value from it so if you're interested that link is there if not it's all good hope you guys are having a great or you hope yes because when this is going to come out it's going to be saturday so hope you're having a great weekend we got the Super Bowl on Sunday. I'm praying that my Niners win, um, but it's going to be tough. I'm a little nervous. Actually, I'm very nervous. I've been a Niner fan pretty much my whole life. Last two Super Bowls, we have lost. 
One was against the Chiefs. Last time we played the Chiefs in the regular season, we lost, and McCaffrey was even playing. So I'm nervous, but I'm just going to stay positive, and hopefully we can get uh, the dub. So that's it for today's, for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.